This is Shaq Diesel, a.k.a. The Big Aristotle, a.k.a. Dr. O'Neill. You're listening to The Tall Boy Experience, the tallest boy on radio. The Tall Boy Experience. It's The Tall Boy Experience. We are live at CES opening day, and I got the Diesel, Shaq Diesel. Excuse me, Dr. Diesel. Dr. Shaq, how you doing? What up, tall boy? I'm doing all right, man. Monster, how did you get hooked up with them? Well, I uh, met them about three years ago. I met uh, uh, Noli about three years ago. Wanted to do headphones, but wanted to kind of shy away from headphones. I wanted to do stuff that everybody needs. Everybody needs a portable charger to charge your phone to your laptop. Everybody needs them portable speakers. So uh, we uh, dropped the power card and the Superstar. It's, it's, it's at your nearest Best Buy. Been doing well. I'm here at the CES, and now we got a new product. It's called Back Float. It's a portable speaker, a little bit wider. Also, uh, you know, small enough to fit in your pocket or your bag, and it floats, and it's waterproof. How about that? Now, why should somebody buy this Back Float uh, product right here? Because one, it's, it's tough, it's rugged, it's waterproof. You can bring it in the shower, not in the bathroom. You can bring it in the shower. You can bring it to the pool party, and it sounds good. You know, if you know anything about sound, you know that Monster's been around creating fabulous sound for over, what, 20, 30 years. So, uh, you know, it's a great product, and it's very, very affordable. All right, now, you've been known for endorsements, uh, and as basketball has transitioned, as that career ended, you went into endorsements. Can you talk about the importance of the, that next life? Well, it's not really endorsements for me. It's more about partnerships. I don't really endorse things that I don't believe. I, I don't believe in taking people's money and then selling a, a product that I don't believe in to the people. We all need power cards to charge our phones and bags. We all need wireless speakers because we don't feel like carrying them big-ass speakers on the road through the airport. So, you know, we all need something small. You know, we all, you know, we all want the dope headphones that got the Monster base. So that's why I'm with Monster. Well, I have the EA headphones. What kind of headphones do you have? I got the Monster joints. Oh, how about that? All right, Stuart Scott. Unfortunately, we lost uh, one of our beloved uh, anchors. Uh, he's the one that got a lot of us into uh, watching Sports Center. Uh, your thoughts on that? Uh, Stuart and I both started in Orlando. Uh, he was the first guy when I got off the plane in Orlando, coming from San Antonio after being drafted by the Magic. He was the first guy to interview me. Uh, he took care of me, and you know we uh, developed a great relationship. He actually helped me learn how to deal with the media. And then I was also the first one he told that he got the job with ESPN. So we've been friends for a long time. I was at that uh, Jimmy Valvano. Uh, 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 I was at that uh, Jimmy Valvano dinner when he gave that speech. It was a great speech. He was a fighter, and last time I saw him, which I think was at the finals, he looked very good. It kind of, it kind of messed me up the other morning too, because I got a knock on the door, and, and uh, one of my homies told me that he had died. Wow. I do a community initiative in the Atlanta area, talking about the importance of hustling the legal way, and also networking. Can we get your personal definition of hustle and network? Hustle to me is the legal way, of course. Hustle to me is uh, following your dreams, doing everything, uh, pushing yourself. Uh, uh, you know, you're always going to have haters that say you can't do it, but you, you just have to do it. Uh, you know, I think I think the problem with our, our youth today is that everybody wants instant gratification. And if you look at all these billionaires around the world, nobody, well, a few of them got it in one day, but the real workers like the Bill Gates and the Puffers and all that, we didn't, you know, we didn't start off by, you know, we didn't start off by, by you, you know, wanting instant gratification. So. I mean, but it's hard. You know, you're from the hood and I'm from the hood. You know, I actually did a research on this. Uh, like if you tell the kids to go work at McDonald's for $4 an hour, or if you tell them to drop a package off for his homeboy for 1000 you already know what's going to go down. You know what we're going to do. Yeah, you know what we're going to do. So we just have to, have to figure out a way to, you know, close that gap. Right. Uh, is there anything outside of the Monster Booth that you're looking forward to seeing here at CES? Well, uh, I'm into wearable technology, so I'm, I'm just going to be walking around looking for uh, wristwatches. I got my bag, too. I don't want no problem. Just open the bag up and you just throw it in there. I don't <laughs> want no problems. I don't want these people to get hurt. It's Dr. Shaq hanging out with Tallboy. We're at the Monster Booth. I thank you so much for your time. It's CES 2015. Yeah. All right, that's what's up. Tallboy Experience. We're out. Think big, think tall, think 